Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kara Dunaway and I'm so happy to have you here. For today's video, it's going to be my January makeup therapy session. I like to do these videos for myself as my own personal therapy, just to talk about the month, vent about things, tell you guys stories, just tell you kind of what's going on and just put some makeup on together and get ready. So if you wanna hang out and put makeup on with me, please subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, like, comment, do all the good stuff, and let's go ahead and get started. So I probably actually shouldn't be filming this video right now because I'm kind of in a mood and it's not a great mood. You know what? Scratch that. I should be filming this video at this moment because that's exactly what these videos are for, is for me to let out the stress, the frustrations, the bad vibes, and just try to get to a positive place. As we speak, I have a child trying to get into the room, but let's just get into putting some makeup on the face. So I'm actually gonna start, I'm just gonna put my hair back while we do the makeup, just so that it's easier to Put makeup on and i'm gonna go ahead and start with the face today i'm gonna prime with my hard candy sheer envy hydrating primer i am so close to being done with this one so i'm just trying to use it up and i really do love this primer though so once it's gone i will probably go repurchase it but there's just something really satisfying about using up products and going through them. I find it really kind of exciting actually. I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me foundation today. This is the Dewy and Smooth version and I'm actually also so close to being done with this one. But anyway, how are you guys doing? I feel like it's been an eternity since I have filmed and uploaded a YouTube video and it's literally been a week but I am so happy to report it is the end of January and I survived, barely. But I told you guys before, January is by far my least favorite month of the year. I just do not like January. I'm sorry, I hate to say it, but I just hate January. But I survived it and I live to tell you guys about it today. So couldn't have been that bad, right? I'm gonna use my little Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer. But let me tell you guys, the weather here in Utah where I live has actually been really nice for January. We didn't get much snow, which is not really a good thing for Utah because we need the snow and stuff obviously for water use. And because it seems like we're always in a drought here, but the temperature and the weather itself has actually been really nice. We've been in the like high thirties a lot, which seems like cold once you say the temperature, but it's actually not that bad. And I feel like usually we're teens and twenties. So the kids can go out and play if they want to, and it's not too cold. So that's one of the reasons I just hate January in general, because usually it's really cold and dreary, but this month actually has not been that way. So now we are moving on to February and I'm excited because February is kind of a fun month. Um, you know, you got Valentine's Day and at least there's something going on. And like I said, we made it past January. So that is a win in my book. Okay, you guys, I have been wanting to try this Laura Mercier translucent setting powder for a long time, and I finally picked some up at Sephora. This is just the mini version. I like to buy the mini versions so I can like test it out before I buy the expensive full-size product. But let me tell you, this powder <laughs> is everything that it is hyped up to be. Like it is so nice on the skin. I just take a tiny little bit on my brush and I just pat it on my under eyes and it just gives a really beautiful kind of airbrushed effect to the under eyes. And if I go in with a really light amount, I don't have a big risk of it getting creased and cakey. And it just looks really, really beautiful on the under eyes. I'm sure it would look really beautiful on the rest of the face as well. I just don't typically set the rest of my face because I have dry skin and I like to look more hydrated and dewy. 
Here's Rambo. But again, like I said, this powder I think is definitely worth the hype. And if you want to pick up the full size version, I think it's definitely worth the money. It's a great powder. And yeah, so far I'm loving it. I'm going to go in and do some cream bronzing. So I love my kids to death. I love my children. They destroy my stuff. As you can see, I really love this bronzing stick, but for some reason, one of my children, I will not name a name, <clears throat> middle child, um, felt the need to twist it all the way up and keep twisting with the cap on and it just obliterated everything. So I'm still going to see if we can make it work. This might turn out to be a disaster, but I don't want to waste this because I love it. So here we go. Okay. It's really patchy, but I think we can make it work. Rather than try to run this down my nose, I'm going to take some on a brush and just apply this where I want it. I do love my children though. I have to say this every video because I don't want people to think all I do is just rag about my kids. But again, this is why I do these videos because I just get to vent and I know there's other moms and others of you out there that are in the same boat. And today is just one of those days. Okay, so all you moms out there tell me if I'm the only one. I know I cannot be the only one, but your kids have to be touching you at all times of the day or just have to be by your side every second of every day. It's like, oh, mom sat on the couch. I need to sit right on her lap or be on her arm or whatever. Just be touching her. Oh, mom left the room. I better follow her because she's probably leaving and never coming back. Oh, mom is on the phone. I should probably yell and scream until I can get her attention because she's not giving it to me. Let me know if you're in the same boat because, and I swear it's just moms too. My husband can do whatever he wants and the kids don't bug him. But for some reason, mom is not allowed to do anything on her own in peace. Let me know if you can relate. I'm going to take my sponge and just lightly like press over where I put that cream bronzer just to kind of blend it out better. I'm going to go in with this liquid blush from YC Collection. This one is in the shade Goyaba, I believe is how you pronounce it. Just dot this on. I've been using my sponge a lot more actually to like blend out some of my products rather than using my finger and it's been working out very nicely. I'm gonna use some liquid highlighter today. My middle child just started going back to preschool like the 18th of January. He had that much time off for Christmas break because his preschool teacher is actually from England and she went there for the holidays. So she was there for a longer period of time which is great for her, not so great for me. That was a long time to have a child home, but he is back in preschool now and he's loving it. So I'm very excited, he's excited, so it's a win-win. My husband the other day goes, can you picture the day when all three of our kids are in like all day school? And I was like, yes, I can picture it. It seems like, way off in the distance, which it is. I still got a little while, but that will be such a nice day for me. I won't know what to do with myself because it'll be so quiet and I'll just have to be at home with my own thoughts, which will probably be a lot harder than I think it will be, but still kind of an exciting day to think about. I picked up this eyeshadow palette Ulta the other day. This is the LA Girl Keep It Playful eyeshadow palette and we're gonna try it out today for the first time. But I really love the color story in here. As you can tell, I was like swatching some of these and they seem really nice. 
I think I'm going to start with a little bit of this shade here and start to just work this a little bit above the crease. Just blend this out. It's a really pretty shade. I like that. I have to tell you guys kind of a sad story. It's funny now, but look what it happened. It was actually kind of sad. So a couple weeks ago, I filmed a video and when I was done, I went out and my husband said that um, middle child had lost his glasses and he was like, I've been looking around for like an hour and I cannot find them anywhere. I'm gonna go in with this more orangey shade just directly in the crease. So I finished up what I was doing and I went out to help him look for the glasses and was spending a ton of time looking for the dang glasses. Couldn't find them anywhere. If you have kids, you know that they are completely useless when it comes to helping you find anything. And it's so funny because it was his glasses and we kept asking him, where did you put the glasses? Where did you take them off? I don't know, I don't know. It's like, of course you don't know because that would make this too easy. So we were looking for the glasses for a long time. I'm gonna go in with the dark shade here. So I wasn't paying attention to the time and then all of a sudden I just looked at my watch and I was like, oh no, like Jet, my oldest, was out of school 15 minutes ago. <laughs> so the first two shades I used were very, <clears throat> excuse me, pigmented. This one, I don't feel like is as pigmented, still really pretty though. So anyway, I rush out to the car because I was 15 minutes late from picking him up. And I drive to the school and he had started just barely walking home. Obviously, everyone's pretty much gone from the school at that point. So he opens the door to get in the car and I was like, oh, but I'm so sorry. Like, I got busy looking for Case's glasses and we couldn't find them. And he was like holding back tears. He was like, it's okay. And he was obviously very upset about what had happened. I'm gonna put some of this shade here on these lid, probably the inner part of the lid. So the second he starts like getting emotional, of course, I got super emotional. I just started crying. I was like, I'm so sorry. And I told him what happened, explained to him what we were doing, why I was late. And you know, the whole time he was just like, it's okay. But it was a good learning experience and probably a good thing that it happened because then we got to have the conversation with him of what to do if that ever happens again. And so, yeah, he, it was really sad and he'd probably be mad if he knew I was telling you guys this, but he's, let's be honest, he's not going to watch my videos. So I think it will be fine. I really like this eyeshadow palette. I really love the colors. They're blending really nicely and yeah, I really like it. So I'm trying to think what else has happened this month. I'm gonna use my Lottie London AM to PM retractable eyeliner just in the waterline. Someone has joined the video, so. So I'm gonna go in with my Il Maquillage Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. Again, I'm sorry about the baby. So the kids were all sick there for a good while. And luckily we are over that now. Knock on wood. Can you go find Jet in case? No. No? Where are they? Can you go find them? I don't even remember what I was talking about, honestly. Um, so I mentioned on my Instagram that I'm probably gonna cut back for now to one video a week here on YouTube. You know, things are just kind of busy right now. We are in the process of remodeling our main floor. My husband works, I take care of the kids. I'm trying to post more on like Instagram and hopefully grow my following there as well as here on YouTube. So for now, I think, crew, 
I'm going to do one video on YouTube and I'm sure you guys don't care, honestly, but I just wanted to let you guys know that and hopefully it's just a temporary thing and I can get back to two videos every single week if you guys enjoy them. If you have ideas of content you want me to film, please leave me a comment below. I love when you guys give me suggestions and ideas and it's really helpful for me. So yeah, drop those in the comments, please. Also, side note, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I would really love for you to do that. It is Kara Dunaway underscore beauty. And again, check it out. I would love to have you guys follow me there. I'm going to do a little bit of tight lining, which always makes me a little nervous because I always poke myself in the eye, but I feel like I need it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the brows. I'm going to use my NYX micro brow pencil. This one's in the shade chocolate and I honestly don't use it hardly at all because the shade's just a little bit too warm for me, but I don't want it to go to waste. So I'm gonna try to use it and I don't wanna bore you guys with the brows. So let me fill them in and then I'll be right back. Okay, brows are done. I'm gonna go finish off the rest of the face. I'm gonna use my Ace Beauté Bronze in Paradise palette just to bronze up the skin. But I actually do want to talk about like Instagram and TikTok for a second and just get this little rant off my chest. But I'm like super frustrated with both of those apps, honestly. I love Instagram. I love to look, first of all, what like my friends and family are doing. And then also like what's going on in the makeup world. I am also trying to post on there more. And I heard that reels are kind of what is the thing right now on Instagram. So I've been trying to post some reels, trying to every day. I've not always been every day, but at least trying to. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Bite Size Blush. This one's in the shade Spiced Apple. And my first few reels, I feel like were put out there and reached a lot of people. And I was really excited because I was like, oh cool, like, you know, I can hopefully gain some new followers from my reels if they're being put out there. And then all of a sudden I posted a reel and it was like nothing. It was just put out on my feed. It, I, I'm pretty sure it just was seen by my followers only. Like, I don't think anyone else really was able to see it. And I was like, okay, maybe it was just not a great reel. People didn't want to watch it, whatever. I was like, you got to learn from these things. I'm going to use my IBY highlighter in the shade Prosecco. So then I posted another reel. Same thing. Didn't really get pushed out there. Didn't really get any attention except for my awesome followers. I love you guys. So then I was like, okay, like there's gotta be something going on. And I tried to do a little bit of research. I couldn't really find a whole lot on the topic, but there were other people out there that were like, you know, my videos are getting this many views and now all of a sudden they're getting like no views, what's going on? And I just came to the conclusion that Instagram was just testing me, toying with me, whatever you wanna call it and was just seeing what kind of attention my videos would get. And if they didn't get the right amount of attention, we're not gonna really show your videos anymore, which really is kind of a bummer because you spend time like making these reels or whatever it may be to really not get a whole lot from it. I'm gonna spray my face with the NYX Bear With Me spray. And TikTok, I have a TikTok account and I've posted a few videos with just like me and the kids. It has nothing to do with makeup. It was just made for like me and the kids to kill time or whatever. And like none of my videos have been pushed out for like anybody to see. So I'm just sick of the algorithms. I'm sick of playing the game, trying to figure it out. I'm still gonna keep posting because it's fun for me and I still want people to find me somehow. But that's my little rant because it's just really frustrating to 
like I said, make content that you love and that you enjoy and just not even like have them put it out there for people to see. Anyway, I'm going to let it be. That's my little rant for the day about that. But anyway, YouTube's awesome. I think YouTube is a great platform. I know people don't sit down and watch like long videos anymore. I think people's attention span has gotten a lot shorter since TikTok became a thing. But I still love to make YouTube videos. I think it's fun. Again, it's therapeutic. This is why I do it. It's fun for me to put makeup on, even though I've got a little kid, I'm sure chowing down on candy over there. He's been really quiet and I can hear rappers going. So I should probably go monitor that. Anyway, let's throw on a lip real quick. I pulled this one out. This is the Maybelline Ultimate Lipstick in the shade More Rust. I don't know if I... Here's what it looks like. It's a really bold color and it goes with the eyeshadow. I just don't know if I'm gonna love it on myself. So I'm gonna apply it. If I don't like it, we'll take it off and do something else, but we'll see how this goes. I don't have a lip liner that really works with this shade. So hopefully we can make it work. I'm for sure gonna have to do some cleanup, but it's a really pretty shade and I actually do like it with this eyeshadow look. Okay, there we go. The lips aren't perfect, but like I said, I actually kind of like how that turned out with this look. That's typically not a shade like that I grab on an everyday basis, but with this eyeshadow palette, which again, I really like, I think it looks really nice. So. Okay, so I just put the hair back down. I just noticed the cheeks are looking like absolutely crazy. So that's what happens when you film with lights on your face and then you like actually look at it in natural light and you look completely ridiculous. That happens to me quite often, but that's right because here we are. Thank you guys so much for watching this kind of a hot mess of a video. It was nice for me to kind of vent about some things, talk through some things, let you guys know what's going on. Again, if you would like to see anything from me, please drop it in the comments. I would love to hear. And please subscribe before you guys leave. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.